Eight biggest Man United transfer flops as Sancho struggles continue with England snub. There's been little to smile about in recent months for Jadon Sancho since his £73 million move to Manchester United. He was setting up goals and netting himself at a rapid pace for Borussia Dortmund, but he's found them impossible to come by so far in the Premier League. And now after his struggles for the Red Devils, he's lost his position in the England squad with Gareth Southgate choosing not to call him up for the final World Cup qualifiers. It's very early days for the 21-year-old, but there may be some fears at Old Trafford that he could end up being a transfer flop, of which there have been many over the years. On that note, Daily Star Sport are taking a look at the biggest United failures. The signing of Sancho is quite similar to Memphis Depay's arrival in 2015, two wingers, both aged 21, a big price tag for an impressive record, but no English football experience. Depay cost £31 million six years ago, and in return United got 18 lackluster months out of him, and half of their money back at the end of it. It may have been a case of too far too soon for the Dutch international, who has made a good start to the season for Barcelona after his summer switch from Lyon. Who would you say is number one? Let us know in the comments section. Another import from Dortmund, Henrik Mkhitaryan was putting in similar numbers to the one Sancho was in the Bundesliga. He did what United Chiefs are hoping Sancho won't do, failed to adapt to the Premier League. Mkhitaryan, who cost nearly £40 million, lasted just as long as Depe did, before struggling at Arsenal too, and has now settled at Jose Mourinho's Roma. In 2003, the £28 million United spent on Juan Sebastian Viren was an eye-watering amount and enough to make him the most expensive transfer in English football. He showed spells of his talent, but his all too often dips in performance led to major questions about the signing, to which Sir Elks Ferguson responded, Viren is a effing great player. And you're all effing idiots. But letting him go to title rivals Chelsea for £15 million spoke volumes, and ultimately both of those transfers have gone down as disasters in Prem folklore. A list of transfer flops wouldn't be complete with the infamous BB. His £7 million move to Manchester in 2010 is perhaps the worst signing of all time as he was very clearly out of his depth alongside the stars of the club. That's why he played more than double the amount of matches for the reserves than he did the first team and spent most of his time out on loan. Bibi now plays for Rayo Vallecano in La Liga, where he lines up alongside fellow ex-Red Devil Radamel Falcao. The Colombian striker was an absolute monster of a striker in his prime and has scored goals everywhere he has gone, apart from in the Premier League. Expectations were rife when United paid a near £7 million loan fee for the 2014-15 season, but four goals in 29 appearances paled in comparison to his exploits elsewhere, and their option to buy was completely disregarded. As well as Falcao, United signed Angel Di Maria in the summer of 2014, which should have been one of the greatest windows a club has ever had. However, the winger also failed to live up to expectations at Old Trafford, despite registering 11 assists in 27 league appearances. At least his then-record signing of £60 million was virtually reimbursed when he departed for Paris Saint-Germain just one year into his five-year contract. Some players just aren't cut out to play for a big team, and unfortunately for Morgan Schneiderlin, he falls into that category. The French midfielder had been one of the Prem's best for Southampton, which earned him a dream £25 million move. His talent was clear to see, but he fell behind the club's bigger stars and departed for Everton just two years after. Swapping the aforementioned